The biggest acts in country music are either in Nashville or headed this way. CMA Music Festival kicks off later this week, and leading up to the festival, plenty of artists are holding very special events. News Channel 5's Jesse Knutson joins us at one of those events, the Darius Rucker and Friends concert for St. Jude. What's going on, Jesse? Well, Vicki, a lot of people call this the unofficial start to CMA Fest. Darius Rucker and a lot of his friends will be raising money for St. Jude, and it's just one of the many events, like you said, that's going on this week. But this year, CMA Fest has a lot more in store than just these special events. They've added new stages. And we talk, talked to one artist today that this is her first CMA Fest. She said she couldn't be more excited. I'm going to go out there and have a good time. Lucy Silvis has never played CMA Music Festival before, but after launching her most recent album, Letters to Ghosts, she says there hasn't been a more exciting time to play for her fans. I've seen it happen so many years in a row. I've watched so many of my favorite bands play, and now to be playing one of those stages, to be part of it all, is pretty amazing. I didn't even really expect it to happen. This year's CMA Music Festival will see plenty of additions that will likely make this year's festival one of the best yet. The Sand Amphitheater will host two new free stages, the AT&T Skyview stage and Budweiser Acoustic stage. That means now there are 11 different stages part of CMA Music Festival, most of which are free to the public. Everyone is, is, seems very receptive, everyone seems very warm, and because they're there to hear music and, and they're there to see whoever's coming on stage. One of the stages that Lucy Silvis will be playing is the Chevrolet Cruise Park stage in the Walk of Fame Park, which has a new placement of the stage allowing for fans to be closer to the action. Everywhere you turn, there's going to be a show of someone who's either a country music veteran or a brand new artist. And I think that's the best thing about it. A big focus this year is Fanfare X at Music City Center, where many artists will be doing question and answer sessions with fans. It's free. It's an amazing thing. No one's, you know, they're spending the money to get here and then they can see music, uh, music for free, which is, which is a great thing. I think it's the way it should be. Now this isn't new this year, but it's extremely helpful. CMA Fest has an app where you can set up a lineup of all the people who are playing right there. Lucy Silvis at the Chevrolet Cruise Park Stage, 1.50 p.m. on Friday. You can have all the artists that you want to see in here. It's really helpful. You can download it in your app store. But trust me, folks, you want to get out here and enjoy all the events. There's so much going on, whether it be fan club parties, number one parties, or just all the free concerts that are going on. We'll have coverage throughout the week for you here on News Channel 5. Reporting live at the Wild Horse Saloon, Jesse Knudsen, News Channel 5. Jesse.